Well, hello guys, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I know, I say that all the time. I think it's my little vlog intro. I'm not sure it's that great, but anyway, that's what it is. It is Thursday. It's August 26th. It was supposed to be my day off today, but I got called into work. And then, what was it, maybe an hour? hour and a half after I started, um, the computers went down. So yeah, we basically sat there for a while and didn't do very, very much because without computers, you can't do too much. Um, yeah, so pretty good day. They did send us a little home a little earlier because we closed down the whole place because, you know, no computers and the computers weren't going to be up until after we were closed. So there you go. We got to go home early. Um, so I came home. I know I should have done a whole bunch of things after work that I needed to get done, but I was just not in the mood anymore. And I came home because I wanted to finish Ungodly by Braden Riddick. I haven't finished yet, but I am so close. I think I have, what page am I on? 284. 284. So what is that? Uh, 15, 15, and 15, 31. So less than 35 pages. Probably about 32 pages to go. And <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to finding out what's going on. Um, even though, I mean, I'm going to be sad that I'm finished, but I'm looking forward to this. So this is a crazy story that I don't even, sorry, itch. I don't even know how to explain. Right? Weird. But um, so right at the moment, and I'm getting close to the end, so I can't really say anything, but Things are happening to Amanda, and um, she sees a suicide, and she calls, well, she screams in her dormitory, and she calls out. Uh, somebody comes and, and finds out what's going on and calls the cops, and then they can't find um, the body of the uh, suicide that she saw, she, but she saw him jump from the window so or not even jump just kind of walk out the window and um, so things go from there then she meets up with Brian in an interesting I can't tell you kind of way and um, Brian and Amanda's characters are amazing um, I don't know what it is about Brian but there's something about him that just makes you like him as a character he's just likable and friendly and smart and I don't know what it is but that's what it is you know those people that you meet that you just you just have to like he's one of those and so they're going on this can I can I call it an adventure things are happening to them and um yeah they're so good they're kind of out there the moment I'm a little confused and not totally in a bad way um, but yes I can't wait to finish it then discuss it with um, all the other people in the group that we're doing this group raid with and yeah, I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to seeing what they caught and what I missed and 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 stuff like that so so good. This is the only book I've read this week. I've only been working on this one. That's it. Once I get through this one, I need to get to this one because this is another buddy read that I haven't started and I need to. And um, yeah, so Double Vision by Hamlin Bird. Um, buddy reading this with Nikki at Dark Between Pages. We all know Nikki. We all love her. And she gifted me this copy, and I'm looking forward to uh, buddy reading it with her and talking about it 
with her. There's Pepper. She's gonna get comfy. She's gonna get comfy. There we go. Um, anyway. So we're gonna read this one. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Hi, Pep. Are you not gonna say hello? How rude. How rude. Say hello. Okay, that's good enough. Anyway. Oh, sorry, the light's there too, so you get um, extra bright Linda. Um, so, yeah, we had some interesting weather today. Uh, it was raining, it was thundering, it was lightning, it was sunny. All in the matter of, like, minutes. Yeah, it's just crazy. But anyway. As you can tell, it's dark now. It's probably after 8. Because it gets dark, yeah, 8.20. It gets dark around just after 8 o'clock or so now. <sighs> Summer's almost over. Eh. Um, I like the summer. I didn't spend much of it outside, which is not good. But the winter, you know, the snow. and The fall's nice, though. Um, but yes, anyway. Um, I'm going to keep this one short because I want to go back and read that book. I hope you guys are having an amazing start of the week. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Right, Pep? Right? No, look at the wall. Really, Pepper? Pep? At least say goodbye. Okay. Well, anyway. She hates the camera. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, hello guys. It is Saturday. It's August 28th. And yes, I did not catch you up yesterday. Things just spiraled out of control yesterday. Just an interesting day. But I wanted to catch you up on what I've read. So I finished this Thursday night. Thought it was a great book. Um, I know I've already talked about this a little bit um, the other day before I was done. Um, ooh, sorry, red. The sun. Um, I know I, I said, I think I said I was confused, and I don't know why I said that. I think probably because I was trying to figure out how it was going to work out and how it was going to end. And um, yeah, but there are some crazy things happening here it's just a really good book really really great characters um, yeah he really really does know how to write a character I am a character driven person and anybody who's been around for a while knows that so I loved it um, yeah yeah there's a few characters in here that like you just rooted for you loved and, and it was just like wow I just I gotta keep keep going until I get to the end and figure out what's going on with them and there's characters in here that you just hate the crap out of and it's great love it I mean you want bad things to happen to some of those bad characters but do they do they not I don't know you're gonna have to read this and I really do suggest that you do because it's really really good so that night, oh, I forgot one of my books over here. Um, that night, I also read the first chapter in Double Vision, and um, that's the only thing that I've read so far. I'm going to concentrate on that um, this weekend. Um, and I finished another one of the stories in Digest. So, yeah. The last one, I it was about shape-shifting and... It was, sorry, I just had some um, bacon and stuff for dinner. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was about shape, sh shape shifting. And it's about um, a father that moves, trying to get away, trying to protect his daughter and get away from, um, do I call him a boyfriend? Anyway, the guy that got her pregnant. So they move 
and they move into this small town in Maine, northern Maine, I believe. And um, yeah, funny things start happening when they move in. Yeah. So things happen, people shape shift, and kind of interesting uh, on the way, the whole take of it. I don't want to say too much because it's a short story and I don't want to give a lot away because then what's the point of reading it? And you should read them. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. It was good. And um, yeah, I'm on another, on the next one. I'm just reading the little profiles that are before the stories of the person that wrote the story. Just like, it's all part of the story. But um it's fun. Um, so we will see once I, I was doing that today when I was making my dinner and I kind of burnt my dinner a little bit, but, um, Hey, you know, it's what it is. But then, yeah, I'll get back to this one as well. I'm hoping to have, um, double vision and hopefully this one done by the end of the month. And then there's one on my TBR for August that I'm not going to get to and I'm really upset about that but maybe I can add that one to my step right up a thon TBR or at least sometime in September we'll see we will see anyway that's all that's happening I wanted to get this filmed before the thunder storms roll in because there's a thunderstorm warning here and um yeah I don't want to you know get bogged down by trying to talk over the um, the noise and the lightning and the flashes and everything like that. So I thought I'd catch you up now. Finally, the week is over. I've worked, I've worked six weeks, six days this week. So I'm ready to sit down and relax for my way to one day off. But um, I have things to do here. So yay. I'm going to take some time today and then tomorrow, oh my goodness, so I've got to figure out an audiobook. My script just started again. So I have to find an audiobook. What do I want to read or listen to in audiobook? I should use one of my credits on my Audible and finish a series or something that I have going or start a series. Hmm. We'll have to see. Anyway. That's what I'm planning on doing because I think if it's not going to rain tomorrow, I really have to go outside and do some yard work. Um, it's just mm, crazy. I'm everywhere out there. It's just... Uh, it's going to rain Sunday and Monday. So uh, that might not be a thing either. So I will hopefully get other things done around here. We'll see. Anyway, we're going to play it by ear. Hope you're having a great Saturday. I know I didn't talk very much. I know I didn't really say very much, but that's what I've done. Nothing special. It's a regular weekend here. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Well, hello. It is Sunday. It is August 29th, and I'm a complete disaster today because I've been trying to clean but it's been friggin' hot here. I think it was, um, let's see, I think it was, it's 31 and it feels like 42. 42, I believe, is like 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Friggin' hot. It literally just started to rain, like just started to rain. Oh, my laundry, sorry. I'm trying to get away from the fan uh, with the mic. Um, yeah, so it just, let me just move. It just started to rain and I'm hoping this will get it to cool down a bit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all, but um, I need to sit down and um, have something to drink and be near the fan because I am extremely hot. I had a t-shirt on this morning. I had to take it off and put a tank top on because I was just, just sweating like crazy. And I'm still doing that. But I've got a couple things done. My laundry, the last load's in the dryer. So hopefully that won't take, well, it'll take, what, 45 minutes? And, yeah, I'm overheated right now. So that's 
I'm going to sit in front of the fan and edit a bit of this vlog. There's so many more things that I need to do, but honestly, I can't. I can't do anything today. Oh, goodness. Hopefully, like it's, it's stopped raining already. Um, but it's supposed to be thunder showers again tonight. It was last night as well. So hopefully that will cool everything down a lot because it did last night. And then maybe I can get some other stuff done later on tonight. Um, to be honest, I'm not in the mood to read because I can't figure out what I'm in the mood to read. I've got things I need to read, but I'm just not in the mood. I'm trying to find an audiobook so that I can keep going and cleaning and stuff. And I can't find one because I don't know what I'm in the mood for. But anyway, my dilemmas, you know, it's okay. It all works out. I don't know. It's crazy. It wasn't this warm this morning. Um, socks on today too because you know cleaning the cat litter and them getting cat litter everywhere I put them on my feet and now I'm so bloody freaking hot that I need to take them off and yeah it's so hot in here I know I've said it I know I said it often but yes, that's what it is so anyway I haven't I haven't read anything today not even this morning when I was having my tea um I uh, was watching YouTube videos and trying to catch up on that and playing some games on my phone and so forth. But, you know, that's what it is. Luna, what are you looking at? Luna. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get going. I haven't eaten today yet either, so that's not good. And I'm starting to get really pink now. I don't know if you can notice. I can, so I'm gonna go pop myself in front of this fan and I will talk to you again a little later on today. Well, it's Sunday night. It's pretty late. It's like 8.15. I have to work in the morning, so I'm gonna make it an early night. What did I get done today? There's my laundry. But I did get my uh, dining room table all cleared off. You can't see it now because it's pretty dark. Um, I didn't get anything red. I just made some Rice Krispie squares because, you know, I just felt like it. I, um, uh, yeah, I got some stuff done around here. I cleaned up the kitchen, um, got some of the screens in the back cleaned up and ready to go for, um, winter and stuff like that. So, yeah, not really much. I actually put in a movie, believe it or not. I did. I put in a movie. I'm, uh, watching Return of the Jedi. I'm trying to get caught up on um, these movies. I know I've read, I've read, I've watched the first, I don't know, Return of the Jedi, I've seen the next one, what's the next one? I love it. Anyway, uh, the next one or two after that, after the original three, I think I've seen, but that's about it. So yeah, I'm far behind. But Reading wise, I had a really great week. Most of the week was um, reading Ungodly, which was amazing. And um, I enjoyed it so, 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 so much. I've only read still one chapter of this, but I'm looking forward to reading some more. I've read uh, another story here. So I'm almost 80% done of this book. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I know there's only two more days in August and then September starts. I wanted to film some videos today and I didn't get to that either. So, hmm, I'm a little behind, but that's okay. I believe I'm off on Tuesday, so who knows? Cause they said that they're changing the schedule. So I, I don't know, I should have just gotten it done. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. Pepper's hanging out. She's finally like, hey, mommy, finally cleaned the uh, dining room table so I can uh, lie down and sleep there. Luna's uh, in her little bed tent thing there. Watson's on my bed. So everybody's relaxing and getting ready for these thunder showers that we're supposed to have and aren't here yet. Um, I was just talking to a friend who lives um, farther north than I do. 
um, and she says it's getting really dark, like the clouds are getting really dark there. So we're, I think it's coming this way. Oh. Just got a notification from uh, the Weather Network, so let's see. Severe thunder storm warnings issued now. So there you go. It's going to be an interesting evening. Um, yeah. So that's it. Not an incredible week. Kind of boring for you guys to listen to me chat on about nothing. Um, I, however, did read and finish Ungodly, and I'm very, very, very impressed with that. Um, I continued this, which is great. Uh, hopefully, I can get this done soon. I did read a little bit of this um, in between doing things. Um, so yeah, let's let's hope next week. Next week's the beginning of September, so it's a whole new a whole new month, and I haven't done my TBR yet. Um, really, there isn't one because I've got a few uh, books that I need to review this month and they're my top priority and then of course there's the Step Right Out of thon so I guess there's going to be a TBR for that but that doesn't start until September 20th so I've got a little bit of time but hopefully it will be up um, next week tomorrow's the beginning of the week so by Thursday or something because um, I usually post Mondays and Thursdays. So I'm going to go and edit this and get it uploaded to YouTube. Hopefully it won't take long. Uh, continue watching Return of the Jedi. Do I even have anything for a thumbnail? Probably not. Yay! Again, Linda, not paying attention. I was going to do that and lost, lost it in my head. So um, it's going to be... Uh, interesting, pretty boring thumbnail. But anyway, I hope you've had a really, really, really amazing week, and I will see you again next week.